Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, sorry, my hair is kind of wet because I just finished getting ready and I never blow dry my hair. Today I'm going to head into San Francisco for some lunch and maybe take you guys along and see what whimsical adventures we encounter there. Um, this morning has been quite productive. I woke up early, I pumped out another YouTube video. Um, it's just been uploaded. It's called Five Ways to Jumpstart Your Art Career. So for those of you who are curious about that, feel free to check it out. And um, got a workout in, did some pot pilates. So yeah, we're just gonna go get some Filipino food and see what other fun activities there are to do in the city. It's kind of rainy today. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and I'll update you in a bit. Yay, I love traffic. Check this out. Isn't that so cool? I'm really sorry to those of you who might have tryptophobia, but this to me looks super cool. They look like a bunch of little pearls or something. I just want to touch them. So we finally got out of the bridge traffic. That was brutal. That was what, like 45 minutes? <laughs> on the bridge, or getting, trying to get on the bridge. And now we have entered the city. Um, but now we're stuck in city traffic, so yay! Oh, still in traffic. Almost there. Almost there. And it is raining today, which is a really rare sight for San Francisco because we used to have um, issues with having a drought for like the last year. So I'm really glad that it's raining and I don't mind it. Today, um, it is called SantaCon, which is where a bunch of people dress up in Christmas costumes and bar hop around San Francisco. So we got done with lunch and now we're at this beautiful gallery named John Penn's Gallery. Um, it's it was right nearby where we had lunch and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna take you guys around. artist name is Jeremy Mann. I've actually seen him on Instagram many times and I've never seen his stuff in person before. The close-ups are super interesting. Wow, this one looks so lifelike. Look at the details on this little bird down to his little feathers. And the wood etching on this cabinet looks so real. This is like a crazy optical illusion. It looks like someone taped another um, sheet of paper on the painting, but this actually this is part of the painting itself. So this whole thing is just one flat painting, but the, the artist did such a good job, it looks like someone pasted a <clears throat> sheet of paper there with masking tape. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to believe that this one is a painting. This artist is insane. I mean, I don't know if it'll show up in video because even standing right here, in front of it, it, I can barely tell it's a painting. Like, you can't even see the brush strokes. It's, oh, it's just breathtaking. Ah, oh, jeez, this, this one's super cool. It's very surreal.
This gallery is super cool. I've never been here before, um, even though I feel like I've walked by the street so many times. No matter what art style I, I look at, um, even if it's totally the opposite of mine, I can still learn so much from it and feel so, much, so inspired by it. Just from admiring um, how much talent and work and patience went into each piece. So it truly is a very humbling and very precious experience to be able to see artwork up close and to see all the brush strokes and how the light bounces off all the colors. So for any art lovers out there or any young people who don't go to galleries much or museums, um, I encourage all of you to get out and go to as many galleries and museums as you can. It's seriously the most inspiring experience ever. Like, I just want to go home and paint now. I think San Francisco architecture is super interesting. All the buildings have these bay windows and they're a little more Victorian influenced. Like, even in this area, which is pretty central in downtown, um, a lot of the buildings are still very old and have a lot of character. Oh look, we have more Santa people. Overall, I'd say we had a pretty good time in the city besides traffic and insane parking fees. We got to have a really yummy lunch at this really small hole in the wall restaurant. I love discovering those places. It was really inexpensive too, which I love. And that gallery was just amazing. I'm really glad that we decided to take a little walk after lunch and discovered it. It was really mind blowing and I'm kind of ready for a nap. I'm kind of tired. Do you see this? There is ironically cat hair on my painting of a cat. So this is why I keep tweezers handy at all times. Oh, there's one gone. Okay, now the other one. I'm taking a quick break to have some dinner. I ordered this really yummy tri-tip salad from this place in Berkeley. It's a Brazilian place. There's um. This like cilantro garlic dressing that I swear has crack in it because it is addictive. And I'm just watching Broad City, my all-time favorite show. I swear, I see myself in both of these girls. <laughs> They're hilarious. This is like paintingception. Woo! Miss Boogerface is looking all cute, snuggling in her favorite blanket that is covered with her drool. Alrighty guys, it is almost 1 a.m. Um, just got back from a really cool holiday party and before that I edited some videos and prepared my shipments for tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some rest now and wake up bright and early tomorrow to send out all of your orders before Christmas. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for joining me today and coming to the gallery with me. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.